Crafty friends. This is Teresa with Fresh and Renewed with Teresa. I am here today for the Not Too Shabby monthly hop. We also have an Instagram hop going on. Going on. I'll leave um, some information down below about that. And there's also a playlist where you can click on that link and see all of the collaborators today. This is our regular monthly hop with all of our design team showing showing off um, the monthly products. So I have chosen to use a March 2024 um, sheet load of cards. I only made four cards though from Call Me Crafty Owl. I'll have her channel linked down below as well. And I took some liberties and did some changes. But first, I want to show you my product. So this is the sketch of what the um, card is going to kind of look like. And then I decided to use Let's Have S'mores paper pad. Now, you might think that I'm crazy um, for the reason that I use this paper pad, but why not? Um, I make cards every single summer, the beginning of the summer, for the youth at our church that are going to camp. And I make the cards um, for the um, leaders to um, give a card of encouragement to um, each camper. And this past year, they went at the very beginning of June. I think I made 28 cards. So, um which is very, very fabulous for a really tiny church. Um, so I thought I would get a head start on making those cards. So I used Let's Have S'mores um, paper pad and I used the ephemera. And then if you're kind of familiar with my channel, if you're not, welcome. And I have a goal this year of using up not using up, but using dies that I don't ever do use. Now, I did use the largest one in this set. This is um, the Pink and Main Scalloped Rectangle. I'll have all these products linked down below that are from other places and from Not Too Shabby. Um, they are affiliate links, so if you um, are so inclined, that would help me out a little bit. And then this is the... Um, MFT, and I'm not sure if this is still in stock. I would think it is, but this is the MFT, my favorite things, um, rectangle, stitched rectangle stacks. Now, you can get rectangles all different places, and I have one from a different, um, company on here, too. I don't know who that company is, um, but... I hardly ever use these inside rectangles, um, these smaller ones. So that's what I use. I used these two, and then I used this one. I did not use that one. So I used those. Then I pull. I was looking for an, uh, an encouragement sentiment that I thought would go well um, for camp. And I pulled out, not too shabby, stick with me. And I wanted to make sure it was in stock just in case you wanted to use it. Um, not too shabby, stick with me. And I pulled out the sentiment, become the best version of yourself. And I used the stamp and the die to cut that out. So um, I stamped it with a VersaFine um, Claire Nocturne ink. And uh, so the, both of these are still in stock. Um, I love this sentiment. I have used it before. Um, so just love that sentiment. So here are my, my cards. And I'm going to pull out my enamel dots because I completely forgot to put enamel dots on my cards. So we'll put, put enamel dots on my cards as I am showing them to you. So this, um, two cards, I made four cards. So this two cards, these two cards, this two cards, listen to me. Um, 
I um, turned vertical and um, I kind of altered the sketch just a little bit by um, offsetting these two pieces instead of on the on one on top of the other. And so how I made my cards was I cut the um, scalloped rectangle and then I and then I sliced it. Um, this is four inches, and then this is an inch and a quarter. So I sliced it at the four inches so that I had my two pieces. So this is card number one. And I did that on the inside. That's where I used that little tiny piece um, of stitched rectangle. I had, a, I had on those sheets, I had some scraps left over. I had enough room for that. So I thought, let me do that so I can um, use up this paper. So that is card number one. Let's pull out these enamel dots again. And this is card number two. Put that one down on that side. Um, I use the little, like they're roasting the marshmallows. And then I did that on the inside. So I just altered my pieces um, so that they looked a little different. Okay, then these two cards go this way. And I'm going to use this kind of champagne color for this one. Let's use this little tiny one. Okay. So, um, I these two are the same. Um, I use the, the elements and a stick. All the items that you need for um, making s'mores and become the best version of yourself. And then I did that on the inside. Now, because this was so dark, I um, cut a white panel to go on the inside of this one. I don't do that unless the card is so dark that it needs that. Okay, so this is our last card. It looks just like the other one. Um, they don't all have to be different. They can be, you know, they can be similar. Let's put this one right up here in this corner. But the inside of this one's a little different. So, um, again, that's where I, you know, cut that. And I kind of flip-flopped. I know the sketch shows that this, uh, this, um, Big pieces on this side and the smaller pieces on that side. So I flip-flopped them just for some interest. And then that's the inside of that one. So those are my four cards for the hop. And all of the products will be linked down below. Don't forget to um, go make sure you see all of the... Um, participants in the playlist down below and I hope you've enjoyed and I will catch you in the next video. Bye!